upset a young person who went to Russia and Chechnya who blew people up in Boston. Uh, so he didn't stay where he went, but he learned something where he went, and he came back with a willingness to kill people. Secretary of State Kerry, after he said that, not only did the State Department, but the White House walked it back, uh, saying he wasn't talking about Tamerlan Tsarnaev specifically, he was talking more broadly. However, we did learn and confirm today that the CIA tried to put Tamerlan Tsarnaev on a terrorist watch list and that Russia, in fact, contacted the CIA, not just the FBI, but the CIA, about Tamerlan Tsarnaev. All kinds of alarm bells in the U.S. government about Tsarnaev and his trip overseas. Charles, uh, this story is surreal already, uh, but it's even getting more so. Uh, AP is just crossing, and we're confirming a statement by uh, Sarnayev's attorney, and it says this, our employees each will be furloughed approximately three weeks between now and September 30th. It's too early to say how this will affect our case, saying the sequester is going to furlough them. Uh, in the defense of Sarnayev. Well, as you said, maybe we could uh, pay the lawyers with the million dollars that we're now spending, as you said, in the grapevine on nothing, uh, on the $60 a year on the, what, 12,000 empty bank accounts. Now, it is preposterous that a government that spends $3.6 trillion is unable to find enough to end up uh, paying for a public defender. So that's just a farce. But I think what's really happening here is you're getting huge embarrassment and defensive actions on the part of the administration as it's beginning to unfold how much they screwed up here. We now know that there were three agencies of this administration that had information about the brother, the elder brother. CIA, FBI, and as we heard yesterday, the Secretary of the Homeland Security said there was a ping in the system when he went over and visited Russia. So, and the fact that not one of the three contacted or, or, or exchanged information with the other two is really damning, particularly if you put it in the context of where you're standing today. The one thing that the Bush administration and the presidency did is it kept us safe, but not only in its own seven years. It established the entire infrastructure it redid the entire organiz organization of the intelligence agencies in order to make sure that we wouldn't have a repeat of 9-11 where one agency isn't hearing what the other agency knows. And that has persisted, but it looks as if in this administration it has all fallen apart. As you know, uh, the president had been uh, scheduled to speak uh, at the Planned Parenthood National Conference in Washington on Thursday evening. That has been rescheduled uh, for Friday morning uh, in order to, uh, to allow him to spend more time with those injured and the loved ones of those lost in the deadly explosion in West Texas. Yes. If a baby is born on a table as a result of a bot botched abortion, what would, what would Planned Parenthood want to have happen to that child that's struggling for life? You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, you know, we, we believe we believe that you know any decision that's made should be left up to the fam to the woman, her family, and the physician. I think that at that point, the patient would be the child struggling on a table. Uh, our tweet uh, for the panel from Joseph uh, asked this: When are abortion clinics going to be tightly regulated and yes, inspected more? Charles. I think when the public demands it, but when you hear the testimony we just heard of that woman from Planned Parenthood saying that you have a child born alive and whether you're going to treat it as a human is up to the woman, the doctor, and the family. That is absurd. That is shocking. And that is, in fact, what happened in the Gosnell uh, Clinic where it was decided by the people in that clinic to let the child to die or to kill it. And that is infanticide. And I just would add to one point. Obama, when he was in the Illinois, when, when he was a member of the State House in Illinois, he voted three times against making it a crime to kill or allow to die a child born after an abortion. So this is not something that he is not in some way um, approving of. 
And I think it's a damning thing for him and for the whole administration. This has been a Sunfish production.